Welcome to this very short introductory video to the app template. Um, this is the template in front of you. What I'll do is start by introducing you to um, how it would work um, from a, a pure usage point of view. And then for those who are interested in digging a little bit deeper, I'll explain how you might configure this template um, with a little bit more precision. So first things to say, this template is designed for um, mobile apps and it's there to create a mobile style paradigm with a header at the top um, and navigation elements at the bottom. Um, the template provides three main um, features, I guess. The first is a theme. You can change the color from uh, you know, browns, blues, greens, yellows, orange, reds. Um, the second item is you can specify the navigation items, i.e. how many navigation items they're going to be, and also what icons to use. Um, and finally, you can um, show and hide a variety of action buttons in the header, like the back button, an add button, delete button. Um, and they will send messages which you can handle um, in, in your own scripts to navigate correctly between cards. Okay, finally, there's a field down here that just contains, um, I guess, some instructions as to how to use the template. Now, from a usage point of view, if you want to create additional navigation items um, while in development mode, uh, i.e. when you're running in the ID, this second button will always appear. There'll always be this extra navigation item with a plus button. This does not appear in the standalone, which I'll show you in a second. But um, to create a new navigation element, I can simply um, hit the button. First of all, it asks me to say what card I would like to navigate to. So I'm going to say card test. And then what it's going to do slightly off screen because of the size of my screen, I've got a very large answer dialog, but it was the simplest way of asking um, you for the icon you'd like to choose. Now you'll notice there's a big list of icons here. These are actually contained in the template as well. Um, you'll notice there's an images folder. Um, and an icons folder, and within the icons folder there are lots of PNGs with lots of different icons um, which are ready for you to use. So you can simply add one in, let's say um, I'll use, hmm, what do I like, I'll use wallet and click OK. And then you'll see now I have a um, additional nav item and it's also navigated to the card and on top of that it's created uh, a test card for me. So I can now navigate back and forward. Let's create one more. You'll notice the project browser here. Watch the project browser as it updates. So let's say test two. And this time I will put in um, planet. And now it's added a planet icon. And again, I can navigate between these cards. So I could drag out now a handful of items onto that card. And then and this next card, I'll, I don't know, maybe a progress bar, a couple of pull down menus, let's see. So now you can see we've got three individual cards, and I'm able to navigate between them. Um, and if we just quickly test in the simulator, just so that I can, um, I can show you how the navigation bar reacts when it's running on a device as opposed to running within the ID. This is also true of desktop standalones, they're not. They're treated as, as non-IDE, non-development, and so hopefully what will happen is that this plus button will no longer exist, and there it is. You can see that we have our cards um, working correctly. Okay, that pretty much um, rounds up everything you need to know to get started and use the template. However, there are a few items that will make customizing these templates um, even more fulfilling. Um, firstly, you'll notice that the cloned cards actually have a number of script lines associated with them. They're not blank cards. That's because a small template um, has been applied um, automatically for you. You'll notice on pre-opened card, I'm setting a number of properties. Um, you'll notice I'm setting the theme, the header title. Um, I'm making sure all of the buttons are false, in other words, invisible. And I'm setting the selected item um, of uh, the navigation. So these things are going to be important for you as you customize your stack more fully. So 
On card test, let's change the theme to red. Let's change the title to um, test card. Let's why not put the back button on and let's also put the add button on. And let's just quickly try that. So now on the test card, the second one, you'll see I've changed the title and I've changed the color. And now when I navigate around, um, the colors are changing and um, the, the other things that we've set are also changing. Each of these cards has a pre-open stack handler just like this where you can configure a few items. Um, the last thing to say is, is about this um, particular line of script, set the navigation selected item. Now we can do this from the message box to help um, us see how this works, but um, setting the navigation item of this stack um, to a value will change the navigation, the, the selected item on the nav. So if we change it to 1, we should expect this item, which we do. Um, so now, as you can imagine, set it to 2, set it to 3, set it to 4, and so on. So what's important about this is that when you're, nav when you're creating more cards and you're creating a richer application, you may find that within one section, the wallet section, you may have a number of cards that the user can um, interact within this wallet section. And so when you go to that card um, in the pre-open stack handler, uh, the ideal thing to do is to set the navigation selected item uh, to the navigation item, so whether or not it's one, two, three, four, or five. And that will ensure that it stays selected no matter where you navigate. Okay, finally, if you're interested in playing about with this template further, um, the scripts that power this template are in the header group. You'll see the first one here. Um, the navigation group. And finally, the stack script. I would recommend um, getting familiar with the stack script, and if you feel comfortable with the stack script, um, then progressing to take a look at the header and the navigation group. There is no need to edit these scripts. Um, you can simply edit your card scripts and, um, and, and, and structure your cards as you please. Um, but uh, these, the, the stack script provides some interesting functionality that will help you as you develop. The first thing to note is that we're using get and set prop handlers a lot. If you're not familiar with get and set prop handlers, they're a way of creating this type of notation. So you can see I'm setting a property of the stack. Now normally, for those of you who are familiar with properties, if you were to do that, that would set a custom property on the stack. However, if you place a set or a get prop handler in your stack, so let's take the navigation selected item as a good idea, as, as an example. Here we go. If you place a set prop with the property name, then rather than set that property on the stack, it will trigger this handler. And so as a result, you can create a very um, customizable um, template like this using the get and set prop notation, which makes it very easy for you as the end developer to not worry about what the actual template is doing or what the um, navigation group is doing, what the header, is, header group is doing, you can interact with it through these get prop and set props. So there we go, set the navigation selected items to P card ID is our, is our particular case. So do have a look through. You'll notice there's a few other useful helper functions that we've added. For example, um, We've added get the content left of this stack, get the content rect, get the content right, get the content top. This allows you to get um, uh, a precise value for the area you have to work with. You can see where my mouse is running around here. Um, when you're laying out, if you're writing some of your own geometry, um, you don't want to lay your controls over the top of the header or over the top of the navigation. But because of the navigation, um, and header change size, um, you know, you the best way to make this accurate is to call these um, these get props, which will tell you the exact values of where the rect is or where the top or bottom of your content area can be. And then you'll notice 
the get and set prop handlers for all of the um, items that we have in this template that's automatically applied to your card. They're in the stack script once again.